Hello guys, right now I am behind the wheel of the top spec Hyundai Stargazer GLS Premium and in this video I am going to share with you what it's like to drive for the past week. Let's do this. When I first unboxed the Hyundai Stargazer GLS Premium, I knew that it had a ton of potential. As a relative newcomer in the Philippines, the Stargazer had to shock and awe the market, and shock and awe it did. Hyundai Philippines gave this small MPV practically everything that any MPV buyer could ask for, but kept the price at an attractive level. This top-spec Stargazer GLS Premium is sold for only 1,288,000 Philippine Pesos, which is still quite affordable for the feature set that you get. Since small MPVs are mostly used for practical purposes like family trips and doing groceries, here are the 5 things you can expect from the Hyundai Stargazer. Here at Reagan's Rides, we do car reviews of SUVs, sports cars, trucks, and everything in between. So subscribe and hit the bell. Alright, so the very first thing that you'll notice with this Hyundai Stargazer is that it feels like a small van to drive. In fact, it kind of feels like a smaller Hyundai Staria to be perfectly honest. Yeah, it's, it's mainly due to the design of the windshield. I mean, it's been raked back uh, quite sharply, uh, as well as that big and wide dashboard that we have there. Uh, the combination of this windshield and uh, that dashboard, that large dashboard, uh, gives this a vanish feel. Uh, in fact, I believe that this Stargazer is the only MPV in the segment that actually feels like an MPV uh, since it feels and drives like a van and uh, if you didn't know uh, vans are actually known as MPVs in other countries so if you're after that SUV feel or a crossover feel then the Hyundai Stargazer is not for you uh, but if you want to rock the van look and you want to have that that small van feel, then this Hyundai Stargazer delivers in those areas. The next thing you can expect is decent power. You see, the Stargazer produces 113 horsepower and 144 newton meters of torque, which is second only to the Honda BRV. Now, despite being second place, well, the Stargazer still feels pretty peppy. You see, we have four drive modes here, an Eco, a Normal, a Sport, and a Smart. And when you pop it into Sport mode, yeah, the throttle response is decent enough. Now, we could go up to triple digit speeds quite easily. And uh, yeah, that IVT transmission that the Stargazer has, yeah, pare, uh, it can give you the proper amount of torque uh, in any uh, driving condition that uh, you're in. Now, when it comes to fuel efficiency, yeah, the Stargazer is also one of the better ones out there. You see, light city drives return to me 10 kilometers per liter, while a drive on the highway could give back 20 kilometers per liter. Now, mind you though, you have to be in eco drive mode in order to attain those figures because yeah, well, normal and sport mode will definitely bring it down uh, to a lower fuel efficiency figure. The steering and braking feel of the Hyundai Stargazer is also on point. So yeah, for the drivers out there, yeah, those, those of you who, you know, who want an MPV but at the same time you don't want to sacrifice the drive feel and drive performance, yeah, the, the Stargazer will give you a decent return uh, despite looking and feeling more like a small van. Now, most MPV owners out there don't really care much for outright power and uh, thankfully, the Stargazer also delivers well in terms of comfort. The suspension is well sorted 
and the NVH on the highway, I mean, I'm on the highway now, and it's pretty quiet here inside. So it is better than most. Now, what I like the most about the Stargazer is the connectivity. I mean, the tech. I mean, dude, we get wireless Apple CarPlay here and wireless Android Auto. Plus, we also have a wireless charging pad. Now, this makes the, the Stargazer GLS Premium the most connected small MPV in the category today. Air conditioning is also very cold. And yes, uh, comfort is definitely a big plus for the Hyundai Stargazer. We also have a good level of safety and driver assist aids here. See, as a family vehicle, safety should be one of your topmost priorities and I love that the Stargazer GLS Plus Premium has that. I mean, as you're seeing on your screen, we have a good bunch of driver assist aids here that will keep you and your family safe at all times. Last but definitely not the least, the Hyundai Stargazer has a unique look that will surely turn heads. I mean, it looks like an egg. And with the LED DRLs up front, yeah, it looks like an egg-shaped spaceship, you know, an egg-shaped spaceship on wheels. <laughs> you see, pare, with, with so many options available to us now, uh, it's nice that the Stargazer has the looks to truly stand out. You know, some people don't like it. You know, some people, they prefer to have boring, uh, boring looking rides. They prefer to blend in. But that's not me. I mean, I prefer unique looking rides and I am a big fan of the design of the Hyundai Stargazer. I mean, those the H-shaped LED taillights, the overall shape of this vehicle. I mean, it's just so fun. I mean, I, 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 just, I, I just like unique rides, pare. And the Stargazer's design uh, truly appeals to me in that sense. There's a reason why the Hyundai Stargazer GLS Premium took home the crown as the best small MPV in my MPV Battle Royale video. It delivered one of the most well-rounded driving experiences in the small MPV class in a unique package that turns a lot of heads. Now while it may not look like an SUV or a crossover, those who are looking for a spacious, feature-packed small MPV would do well to give the Hyundai Stargazer GLS Premium a serious look. Thanks for watching.